Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Here we are solving Cambridge International ASA level pure math 1 past paper for May June 2022. The paper code is 9709 slash 11. Question number 4, part A. Prove the identity sine cube theta divided by sine theta minus 1 minus sine square theta divided by 1 plus sine theta equals minus tan square theta times 1 plus sine square theta. This question got 4 marks. Here we need to prove this identity. So whenever the question asks you to prove something like this, what you are not supposed to do, you cannot take the whole equation because they want you to prove this is equal to this. So you can either start from this, the left hand side, and try to get, try to prove that this is equal to this. Or you can start from right hand side and prove that this can be written in this form. So usually we take a side which has more terms. So it's, it's easy to simplify the terms and get to this rather than taking this and expanding it. So I'm going to start from the left hand side equals, we take this whole thing and cross multiply multiply this to make it as a common denominator sine cube times this sine cube theta times 1 plus sine theta there's a common negative sign sine square times this sine square times sine theta plus 1 divided by this times this sine theta minus 1 times 1 plus sine theta or sine theta plus 1 now we just need to open the bracket and simplify. So we'll get sine cube plus sine power 4, sine cube theta plus sine power 4. Take negative sine square and multiply both. You'll get negative sine cube, negative sine square. Here we have a plus b times a minus b. Remember the algebraic identity a square minus b square. One square is one. If you don't want to apply this, Open the bracket, take sine theta, multiply both, take negative 1, multiply both, you will still get this expression. Sine cube can be cancelled. We have sine power 4 minus sine square. So I'm going to take sine square as a common factor out. You will get sine square theta minus 1 divided by, I'm going to take a negative sine out. So this can be written as 1 minus sine square. The reason why I'm doing this so that I can apply this identity. Cos square x plus sine square x is 1. So cos square x is going to be 1 minus sine square x. I'm going to replace this by cos square theta. So we have sine square theta times sine square theta minus 1 divided by minus cos square theta. So when you look at this, we have minus tan sine square over cos square is tan square. We are supposed to get 1 plus sine square, not theta sine square theta minus 1. That means we missed out a negative sign. When we cross multiply, it has to be sine theta minus 1, not sine theta plus 1. So this should be minus 1. So you will get plus here. And this also is going to be plus. So minus tan square theta times sine square theta plus 1 or 1 plus sine square theta. That's all. Part B. Hence solve the equation sine cube theta divided by sine theta minus 1 minus sine square theta divided by 1 plus sine theta equals tan square theta times 1 minus tan sine square theta for 0 to 2 pi. This question got 2 marks. Here we need to solve this equation. So if you look at the pay attention to this equation closely, this is the left hand side of what's given in part A. So this is from part A, this is entirely a different expression. So in part A we proved that this can be written in the form minus tan square theta times 1 plus sine square theta is equal to take this here tan square theta times 1 minus sine square theta. So we are going to solve this equation. The limit is very important. Do not ignore this limit. The limit is 0 to 2 pi. We are going to use that later. Now first step, put everything one sign. You will get tan square theta times 1 minus sine square. Bring this term also here. It becomes positive. 
tan square theta times 1 plus sine square theta equals 0. I'm going to take tan square theta as a common factor out. So you'll have 1 minus sine theta, sine square theta, and then plus 1 plus sine square theta equals 0. So sine square theta can be cancelled. You'll get 1 plus 1, 2. 2 tan square theta is 0. Tan square theta is 0 over 2 is 0. Take square root tan theta is 0. Again, if tan square is 0, tan is also 0. Solve this. Tan inverse of... Uh, you find tan inverse of 0 in radians. So it's zero, theta is zero. That's not the solution, that's a principal value. We need to solve, we need to find the theta values in this limit. That's where we use this ASTC diagram. If you don't know this method, this is a lot easier to solve the trigonometric equations. In fact, uh, harder trigonometric equations also. So I will tag a video here, go watch and learn this method. The limit is zero to two pi. Tan will be positive here and here. So this is theta, this is pi plus theta. So you got two values. Theta is the original principal value, pi plus theta is pi. You got two solutions, but the limit says z theta is greater than zero. So you take only pi, pi radians, that's the solution.